Man, there sure are a lot of tomato plants. There's so many of them. Maybe I should try transplanting them, but how do you transplant? How to transplant? That's a really good question. Hi, my name is Keith, and welcome to Figures Farms 2018. All right, welcome, everybody. Yes, we are in 2018, and we have already started our garden. If you watched last year's seedling planting videos, then you know we try to get a head start in February and March. And here we are. We have a ton of tomato plants. Look at all this. Tomato plants, tomato plants, tomato plants. Wow. And these are green beans, I believe. But we have all these tomato plants. Again, just like last year. And some people may need tomato plants in their life, so we're going to transplant some of these tomato plants, a lot of them actually, and turn these four into one, those four into one, these three into one. Tomato plants do really well when you transplant them, but you have to know what to do. And that's why Fagers Farms is here. So what you do basically is you've got these four plants here and we like these they're called pro hex okay by ak lawn and garden they work out great i mean look it takes a little bit of dirt and you just fill the tray with water so soil water seed mucho plantos okay all of them Eggplants take a long time. Like, okay, look here. We have eggplant. They've taken a long time to come out, but their seeds are really hard, so you got to wait for them to soften up and come out. Jalapeno plants are going great. Bell pepper plants, yellow bell peppers, and then you know more green beans back here. Um, these pots we like too for your larger plants. Watermelons. That's a whole other story about watermelons. We'll tell you later, maybe. Our pumpkin plants are going crazy, so those are good for your larger ones. Green beans are going nuts. I mean, there's there's a plant in almost every single little hexagon. And I don't remember putting that many seeds in each little pod, but man, these things are going after it. It is wild how well they're doing. It. It's only been like, I don't know, three weeks? Something like that. We did have a new grow light. That's not it. I'm just showing you our kind of grow light section. We have two four foot fluorescents and two two foot fluorescents. We tried this other one that was given to us that has two grow lights in it, but they're really hot. And it's a lot of light so as you can have too much light you can I say have too much light because it'll dwarf your plants they don't have to work hard to like these are real tall over here these are green beans okay look how tall they are I mean that is honestly almost 18 inches tall the top one over there middle left these things back here are green beans too they're planted mm -hmm. at the same time and they're only six inches tall if you will so it was a double lamp, two foot grow light, and it, it's, it worked so well, the plants didn't have to fight for the sun, so they stayed small. So I don't know what's better, depends on what you're going after, because you know, like the leaves are really green, look how green that is. And they're just starting to fill out, because they, they look shriveled. They're like, ah, it's too much light, ah, I can't do it. So we're gonna transplant. So these Pro-Hex, we love them. Basically, you just squeeze the dirt up. Kind of push it, work it up, soften it up a little bit, okay? You can do it two ways. You can either push the dirt all the way out, <clears throat> or you can grab the top of these plants, not the stems. You don't grab the stems, that'll damage them. Grab the top of the leaves, really soft, and look at that. I'm just barely holding the leaves. Not grabbing it, I'm just letting the weight of the four vines coming up there the plant stalks kind of carry everything i don't know if you can see in here or not but nothing but leaves i'm barely gripping on so we softened it up and just pulled it right out okay and that saves a lot of the root base that we're kind of looking for to transplant okay let's lay this down right there and it's just a little clump and what you do then if you remember from last year you just kind of slowly work this out just kind of work them out. It's a lot better with two hands, trust me. 
but you just kind of work them out slowly, mm -hmm. okay, to where you end up mm -hmm. with one little plant. These are really strong plants. I mean, they are very, very healthy, very healthy. I mean, they're laying on their side and they're holding themselves up. So, I mean, that's, that's great growth. But you can see you don't want to cut the roots apart. You want to, like these little roots right there, you want to just lightly tug them apart. And if they'll you work like your way Facebook free, but just kind of, we were live. Just kind of, you know, just go slow and work your way out. Okay. So what I'm what I I'm gonna try something a little different this year. You know, we used to like I'd, I'd fill up this and I'd squeeze the plant down in there. But this year I have a bucket of dirt, soil. And I'm just gonna take a little bit in my hand, kind of mush it flat, like you're making a mud pie. Mm. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do, if I can, if I can do it, let's see if we can do this. Maybe not. Okay. Basically, I'm gonna take, all right. I'm gonna take that one right there in the middle. I'm gonna put it on the soil. And I'm gonna wrap it up like a little burrito. I'll just turn the soil over, okay? And that way I can squeeze like this and the plant should be upright in my hand and then we just go back and drop it in our hexagon. Boop, just like that. Now we have a little plant, wet dirt. It's not gonna need a lot of water. It can recover quickly. Uh, they may droop for a couple days or a day really. I mean, they recover fast, like I said, and just let it grow. So, that we, you know, no waste. And if other people need plants out there, Maybe they'll buy them from Baker's Farm J. We're going, I think, four kinds, three, four kinds. We'll post it on the video edit. If you like our Facebook page, we were live. Yeah, we did a Facebook live a while back. Um, and we'll do them every now and then. Maybe we might have one where we're like, we'll announce it to everybody previously. And we're like, hey, we're live now. Action, Jackson. So anyway, that's transplanting. That's kind of how you do it right Please. there. Remember, we'll recap. Come in here. Push dirt a little bit, soften it. Squish it around. And these might not work, but these are little bitty plants. They came up late. I'm probably just gonna pull them right out of the soil. <laughs> I did, I just pulled them right out. Those aren't gonna make it, they're too small. Um, but anyway, push that dirt up. Grab the plants. Make sure they're separate from the other ones. Just boop, comes right up. Separate them out and put them back in. Fold them in the dirt, however you want to do it, doesn't really matter. Put it right back in there. And they're good to go. Quick recovery. Keep your plants healthy, y'all. We'll see you next time on Beggar's Farms. <laughs> He's still talking about his Facebook. On YouTube. Yeah, he posts his videos on YouTube. So check us out on YouTube and subscribe. Follow Fager's Farms on Facebook. And the boss man will keep you informed. Thank you, Dr. Keith. I'm James Boyd for Fager's Farms. I don't know how he suckers me into this stuff, but I love him. Happy gardening. Happy growing. Stay green. <laughs>